Hello! Welcome back to my channel, I'm Sydney if you're new. I don't really know what this video is going to be about. I just look good and thought we should film something. So. I want to give quality advice, but it's also like so hard to give quality advice when like I, I need the advice when I don't know what I'm doing either. And I just want to make this video to be like, nobody knows what the fuck they're doing. I am 22 and I always hear older generations or people be like the 20s are just like your trial time and I have taken that very seriously and I feel like a lot of people feel this way obviously there's like a lot of uh, staff shortages there's a lot of shortages on employees and like workers and like nobody's willing to work or whatever and it's just like nobody's willing to work because everybody's tired and the way our society is like built up is not working and like obviously I could sit here and preach but I don't even feel like I'm the most knowledgeable person to be here and be like the world is crumbling and like I don't like being negative but like I feel helpless in a lot of senses because I want to pursue my own thing and I guess YouTube could be a part of that but like I'm also feeling very stuck because there's no guarantee that like this is gonna work out there's no guarantee and I feel like I've done so many things that I'm like what if this starts to work out and then I realize I don't like it I, do, I just don't want to have to wake up every day go work for someone else make not a lot of money for doing so much work not feel appreciated whatsoever you could die tomorrow and like some people like that scares them and some people find peace in it anyway you're gonna die and you could die tomorrow you could die in six weeks and like a lot of people use that for motivation of like doing things but like i'm not even like my message and what i'm trying to say isn't really like go out and hustle you could die tomorrow you know do the things be productive that's not what i'm saying because like that's not my message that's if that's what resonates with you from this video but like how I'm saying it is if you die tomorrow. I always think about like the example. Do you ever like wake up with a sore throat? I'm thinking of this because like the other day I woke up with a sore throat. Every time you wake up with a sore throat or every time you're sick, you always think, I wish I wouldn't have taken my health for granted when I was actually healthy. But like usually when most people think that it's when they have a cold or like the stomach flu or something like that. Or like if you break a bone, you're like, oh, I wish I was. Think if you were like told you had six months left to live that would that feeling would be times a thousand and like some people get six months left to live and like those six months aren't even a healthy good six months because they're already ill recently how I've been feeling is I'm not living my life I feel like I'm living a life that was just kind of set out for me or set out for the majority of people are living a life that was set out for us i'm not trying to be like some fuck capitalism type bitch but like we're all set up to when we're young go to school when we're young you go to school when you're done school you do whatever school to do get the job you want and then you go to job get your job you work you retire and then you live your 20 odd years and then you die if you make it that long and as someone who teaches four and five year olds um and my boyfriend is also a teacher but we were both talking the other day how like sometimes you're like setting these kids up to just fall like to work how dylan said it is do you ever feel like you're just teaching these kids how to work for the rest of their life and like when i was in school i hated school so the fact that i'm going into education is kind of i'm not going into education because i want to teach kids how i feel like there's like this like odd like in between because the thought of me being able to teach kids how to read and how to write and how to you know do simple math like i feel like elementary i like the elementary age because i find what you learn there is very important for your life and then in high school a lot of that just is like further educate and i'm not saying we should stop teaching kids at um stop teaching kids in elementary school but i feel like me teaching 
elementary is more rewarding because I know that like all of those kids are learning practical things like when you teach a kid to read they're gonna be able to read for the rest of their life when you teach a kid to write they're gonna be able to write for the rest of their life I cannot tell you anything I learned in like math 10 I remember when I learned how to read I don't remember what I learned in math 10 once I got to high school I was just like done I was like I, I don't need to know any of this um but in elementary school I liked learning because I felt like it was useful and then I was told by one of my teachers in high school that like he he's like what I'm teaching you you're not gonna remember what I'm teaching you is probably to most of you ineffective like it's not of any use um but the fact that you're here and you're sitting in my class and you're striving for good things and whatever whatever he's like you're I'm teaching you skills so that when you go to work one day like it'll help your building skills that will help you later in life and like I like like I respected that but I also got annoyed because I'm like oh, why why do we all have to come here just so we can learn skills so that we can get a nine to five and the other option of like if you don't want to do a nine to five and all that stuff is like to have a business i had a business and it was like a service-based business and i didn't like it because i don't like people um every time i think about business ideas like that's, that's a good idea but i don't like people like with my like with the business i had i was an esthetician and i i well i still am an esthetician but like i don't really practice it and i worked for myself and i didn't like the like vibe of aesthetics because I felt like my whole life I've always just wanted to make people feel better and wanted people to feel confident and wanted people to feel happy and that's always what I've tried to do and so I went with aesthetics and I felt the entire time like when I was in school I liked it because I was learning so I found it rewarding because it was rewarding for myself because I was learning and I was getting better but then when I was doing it for work a, I made way less money than I ever thought I would um, when I worked at a spa. When I worked on my own, I made pretty good money considering. I just always felt that it was like there was this sense of like, it was superficial and this sense of entitlement that a lot of, not all of, because I don't want client past clients to watch this and be like, because there was lots of kind clients and lots of clients I really enjoyed having and when I worked for myself I did feel more of a connection to my clients because I was everything I always talked to them but when I worked at a spa I felt a, a sense of entitlement I did work at a very nice spa and like I always felt like aesthetics was gonna be like a treat like everybody was getting a pedicure it was a treat they were excited like it was you know something nice they were doing but a lot of the time I found like it was just this person's monthly pedicure and I happened to be the person doing their toes or I happened to be doing their eyebrows this time and it was just a regular thing for them and it wasn't special to them making it not feel special to me because I'm like did I really even make your day like this was just like brushing your teeth or like I just felt like it, I was giving too much energy and not receiving the like appreciation back so aesthetics wasn't for me but there was this whole there's this gap and I was like I like working with children and I do like working with children but I feel like the education system and just the system of how everything's run is wrong it's like I'm not living my life because I'm not I don't know what it is about my personality I feel like I always need to be in charge you know when I work for myself I I'll know if I'm not happy with the results so the last two years I worked my mom was my boss so I always had the comfort of knowing if I wasn't doing something right she would definitely tell me um, that I wasn't doing something to her standards and I knew my mom wasn't gonna you know talk behind my back or just have the entire summer off because I work with children and not once did I ever feel like I fully was grateful for this time I had off or used it properly or used it wisely. Uh, Dylan also had the summer off with my boyfriend and he was like, honestly, I think that that's just how you're always going to feel because there's like a part of me that was like, I want to take the summer to relax um, because I work so hard during the year and then once school 
starts back up i'll be more on a grind because i'll be in more of a routine but i'm so tired from my job at the end of the day that i don't feel like i ever have energy to do what i want to do um it's just draining and that's like also like i don't feel like i'm living my life because i go to work and like i am such a firm believer like when i was in school i always told myself school is just something you go to that's not your life you have a life outside of school and so i like going into this year at work i was like work is just something you do to make money you have a life outside of it which like our society is so career driven that i feel like everybody's so focused on their career when most of the time our career isn't focused on us if that makes sense like I don't I don't think I've ever worked at a job where I felt I can think of maybe twice I mean if you consider when I was my own boss I definitely was appreciated because I was my own boss and also like my clients made me feel appreciated but like I don't feel like I've ever and I feel like that's just a lack in a lot of careers is like never feeling appreciated and never feeling and I guess this is what I was trying to say this whole time is like I never feel like I can feel like I'm doing a good job unless other people tell me because from my life experience I anytime I think I'm doing a good job I could be wrong and someone could have taken something out of context or not to had good communication and I could be doing something completely wrong um but nobody up front told me so I just feel like I have this anxiety around work where I'm like I'm never feeling like I'm doing good enough and so I'm feeling like I'm not living my own life and I'm trying to remind myself like we could die. I could die tomorrow so not to take my career and my job so seriously because it's a just a part of my life it's not my whole life when you're somewhere for an entire eight hours of your day and then you come home and that takes a lot of your energy it's hard to be like have energy and be content with what you're doing after work um so that's something i'm really struggling with right now is just having the energy to do that stuff and like i work i'm also in school right now i want to pursue youtube i want to make tiktoks i want to make a podcast that's a lot i i want to be healthy i want to eat healthy foods i want to you know i have to meal prep i have to work out so i have to have energy to work with children all day and and i know that's the job i chose and like a lot of the time it is rewarding but like some days it's not and it's the beginning of the year the year it's the beginning of the year so i'm already feeling a little 